Right before heading into Yellowstone, we spent a few hours at Grand Teton National Park. We took the boat shuttle on Jenny Lake to take a short hike to Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point. In the afternoon, we were able to explore some of Yellowstone. Our first stop was the West Thumb Geyser Basin. From this, I got a good idea of how the rest of the park would be laid out. The boardwalk around the area takes maybe an hour to walk through. We stopped through Mud Volcano, which includes Muddy and Dragonlight Springs, before making our way to Canyon Village where we were staying. Our lodge was close to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. This site was a great way to end day one. We started day two at Old Faithful. We walked around the area until the time of Old Faithful's next eruption. The visitor center and other buildings will post the next predicted time of the eruption. We grabbed a seat once the time got closer. After lunch, we drove to a couple more areas before going to, in my opinion, the most photogenic area. The Midway Geyser Basin houses the Excelsior Geyser and the Grand Prismatic Spring. Right after, we went to find the Overlook, which stems from the Fairy Falls Trail, for a full view from above. Our day ended exploring Mammoth Springs. Day, we made our way to Lamar Valley. We drove through just to see what wildlife we could see. If you go earlier, you're probably more likely to spot animals. For us, it was mostly bison. definitely a lot more to see, but I think we hit the main attractions and avoided any strenuous hiking for my parents. I hope to return to do some more hiking at a different time.